liking my videos and therefore oh the whiskey 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 throttle reverse whiskey uh oh you see nobody could hear themselves think the music is making everybody worry uh oh we got this fountain over here wait 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 wait, 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 wait what's going on here wait, wait 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 nobody knows what to do they can't think right the music has just interrupted the wait wait, wait. all right we got some people coming over here right now we got a sea fox everybody's coming in at the same time dude what is this? Esto está en candela, los balseros están acabando. Los balseros están acabando, caballero. Esto se ha vuelto a Jaelía. He's, he's Jaelía. All right, um, so there's a running joke from Jaelía, you know? East Jaelía was first, and then West Jaelía developed more, and then, you know, they, they, they didn't want to have Jaelía in their name, so they went to, um, what's the other one called? Um, um, no. Hylia Gardens and yeah, yeah, there, there's, there's guys, listen. And then people from PSN, there, which is basically Hialeah, it's like a nicer version of Hialeah. They say it's not Hialeah, but they say it's Palm Spring North. Bro, we all know it's Hialeah. And Miami Lakes was very nice. Miami Lakes used to be a very nice area and it became Hialeah too, bro. Let's be real, come on, guys. Everything is Hialeah down that way, all right? That's it. You guys are infested with Hialeah-ness. There's no way around it. And nothing against Hialeah. I grew up in Hialeah, you know? You make it out of Hialeah, you're good. You're, you're, you're going to be a successful person in life. Oh, boy. I hope the mayor of Hialeah doesn't watch the channel. Actually, Hialeah uh, makes a lot of stuff. They actually produce stuff. And a lot of people um, build stuff in Hialeah. Oh, boy. We got, we got right here. We, we got, we, we're going to get this over here. Oh, man. This sea fox, oh man, this guy's like, bro, this guy's gonna go overboard. What the hell? Are you crazy? Oh my goodness, whoa, whoa, this is crazy, bro. He's good. Look at this police officer, bro. Look at this, look at this officer, bro. Bro, pay this man some more money, bro. Pay this man more, so look at this, bro, look at this. You know how many people he's gotta do that to? It's like a workout of freaking, all day doing this. Oh, speaking of workout. <laughs> It was funny. So I went, I went with Pedro and Javi. We did a mahi tournament. So, you know, there's a, you deep drop and you kind of like jig up and all that stuff. Well, long story short, that is a, is a, is a fishing uh, method, right? You, esto si va a estar en candela hoy. Oh, si. Wait for it. <laughs> Oh man, he said this is gonna get good. Hay mucha gente entrando, verdad? Yeah, so there's a lot of people coming in. But what I was saying, guys, look, we were fishing, and um, they were jigging. And what you do is, <laughs> bro, these people to get that old. Nobody lets me talk. Which one? What about it? You ordered it? Oh, no. where I order it? Luxury rib tenders. Get it before now. It's about to sell out already. I, I, I've sold like a bunch of them. The green one's really hot right now. Luxury rib tenders. Yeah, guys, I've been telling people the public sale, um, this is what people don't realize. I'll tell you the story now. Let me tell you what happened. He wants the green Chicho hat, the, the, the Fred one. And that one has been selling a lot. So it doesn't matter. The, 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 the time of, of this video is on the 15th, I'm doing a drop. I'm doing drops. It just makes it easier for me. So I sell them all at once. But to my, to my site members that are on my website, I send them out kind of like a white list, like a a list before the public so I give them a shot and I open it up to them and um, a lot of people started buying that one and I, I, a lot look earlier in the day I was actually sorting a lot of that stuff for this this day before that drop and that drop is like in three or four days but I'm running out of them and then my supplier does a lot of the stuff for for school so they're not gonna be able oh boy they're not gonna be able to fill everything 
So I'm just gonna wait and do another drop. And then by the time I do the other drop, summer's over and you didn't have a hopper summer. So going back to my story, right? My story. Que bolón, como esta eso, todo bien? Ra, ra, ra. <laughs> Bro, I think I'm hearing ra, ra, ra. I can't even tell a story anymore. What the hell is going on here? Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, <laughs> back to, guys, it's not severe HDHD. I'm, I'm getting interrupted like a lot. So we were on the boat and we were jigging and that's a lot of work. You got a jig that you're, you're, you're basically reeling in and pulling up hard, 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 like hundreds of times. So I see Captain Pedro and I see Javi and I'm like, yeah, bro, I'll take care of the cameras. I'm good. And long story short, <laughs> these guys got destroyed. Destroyed their arms. They couldn't even move their arms. They look stiff as hell. But um, imagine we were in areas that should have held fish, right? Because we, we, we found we found the weed lines, we found big patches. Typically the bait should be under those patches. Then the, 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 the actual mahi will come and attack the baits. And well, long story short, the, the, the fish were down south. And we knew that after the fact because Captain Abel, ooh, ooh. Captain Abel told us that he was catching a bunch of mahi down in the Keys. Oh boy, oh man. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Freedom, 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 freedom. There it is. So Captain Abel's like, yo, all the mahi over here, they're west of the hump, you know, come down over here and you're gonna limit out. We, we limited it out. And I was like, me, <laughs> um, the pescatarian, which is Pedro, and, and check him out on YouTube. And Javi, we didn't have that intel, right? And a lot of people didn't really know where they were at the time. And I asked and you know how everybody, everybody's stingy with their info. So whatever, I'll put it up. Look, I'll put a couple of clips on that in here in this video. So you guys can see a little bit what was happening. I guess the full video of that day fishing um, will go on on uh, Pescatarian's channel. So and we're going to do a lot more fishing because I, um, I want to go sword fishing again with him. He's a really good sword fishing captain. That day we went for Mahi and uh, he, he went above and beyond. Guys, we went far. When I tell you we went far looking for these things, um, it, was, it, was, it was far. And his boat took it like nothing. Uh, 29 Ocean Runner is what he, he uses to, to go fishing. And I told him, I gave him some advice. I said, listen, not everybody wants to come over here and just go fishing. If, if you go give somebody an option to go to the sandbar, take them to Boca Chita, you know, if, you, if, if they want to go see the, you know, Boca Chito or, or some of the Keys, I mean, that, I think that will be a very cool tour to me, to be honest with you. And then you come back, you have some lunch, dinner, and you, you call it a day, you know, if, you, if that's not your thing. So, all right, somebody's coming in back, hot back there. So yeah, it was, uh, it was funny watching them the following day. <laughs> Javi, <laughs> Javi literally tells me, he goes, Man, I feel like I got run over by a bunch of, uh, I, I know, he goes, I, I, got, I feel like I got trampled by a bunch of um, horses. <laughs> and uh, it was just because when we left in the morning, it was just terrible, guys, it was so rough. I mean, bro, we were going in, we were going south, and we just, and, and, and Pedro told me, you know, he goes, hey, we're gonna get wrecked right now. You, you want to go a little bit further south? You know, let's see. And I was like, oh, let's go see what we got. <laughs> let's see what we got. Dude, we left Caesars Creek. And if you watch that video, we stopped at Caesars Creek to explain what it was for people that don't know. We left Caesars Creek. As soon as we left Caesars Creek, we got, we got a little bit of humble pie once we went south. It was terrible, bro. My goodness, it was bad. I, I didn't even film that part. My camera would have been ruined. Ruined, straight up ruined. What do we got to go over here? Hold on, let me see this. There might be some, oh boy. Everybody's coming in a little early. Is there heat game tonight? Oh, I think the heat, the heat are down, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you guys watch this whenever you watch it, but the heat actually made it to the finals and we're actually really excited about that over here in Miami because you know we want to support our local team. So, but 
But yeah, a lot of people are coming early because they want to watch the games and stuff. Now in summer, at this like this time when I'm filming summer, this this uh, you'll have light here for about to like about eight o'clock. So you'll see people coming in and out until about eight o'clock. So we have really long days in the summer. Damn, I got a shot over here in the distance, but I, will I be able to get something back there? Yeah, I might be able to get something. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, I think I might be able to get something. I see a little bit of chittery going on there. A lot of people asking where's Fred. Like last I said, uh, saw him was, was Memorial Weekend. Actually, Memorial Day is the day that he was hanging out over there at one of the uh, fishing stations where people go ahead and fish. And he hung out there for hours and hours and hours and hours. And recently I put a, a, some footage of three crocodiles, not crocodiles, alligators. Those were alligators recently. Um, that, okay, so just so you have an idea. This channel right here where, where I'm filming leads straight down all the way to a canal system which is more fresh water this is kind of brackish water right here what we have right here right now oh boy so and that canal system hooks up to a lake which i know because my brother-in-law lives in the area oh boy hold on and uh, long story show boy, oh man, he's coming in hot. He got it. Um, so there was a croc, um, I mean three, three alligators, and there was a big, big alligator that was kind of like outside of the water. But you can tell because of the color and the snout, right? The snout on an alligator is more round and you know, the, a crocodile, their snout is more pointed. And their fourth tooth on a crocodile, on their lower jaw, sticks out of their face. So, so when you see on the lower jaw, a crocodile will have theirs. And I think, I think an alligator is the opposite. I think the, the alligator is on the top. So if there is coming from the top down, um, so that's one of the ways that you can, I, I can just tell just by their snout, right? Because the snout, if it's round the snout, it's, it's an alligator. But those are three alligators. It looks like there was a, a female, maybe a smaller one, and then, and then the, the male alligator. And somebody, somebody quickly said, oh, that's, a, that's Fred lounging. No, it wasn't Fred. Fred, Fred was, uh, Fred is actually way bigger than that alligator. Like if you see Fred out of the water, you see him out out of the water? Oh man. He's he's huge, guys. He's a really, really big crocodile. And then I was reading that there's about like 1,500 to 2,000 crocodiles in South Florida. Um, and they, the, the map shows that they can go all the way up to like almost the center of Florida. Primarily the majority of them are down here in South Florida. Right, South Florida, the Keys and all that stuff. Everglades also has a bunch of them on the west side. We got it. We're, we're trying to see what happens here. There's there's some chittery going on here for sure. We're getting shot killed, but whatever. So yes, um, and I think they said in, in 1975, there was only like a population of 300 at the time, so. So I guess they got on maybe like some endangered species list or something like that. And um, the FWC says that their, their temperament is shy. You know, they're very shy. Imagine, imagine go, going up to Croc, to, to Fred and saying, look, I know you're shy. You could, we can have a beer together. It's okay. Um, but yeah, the temperament is not like what you see on YouTube, right? Like, uh, they primarily fish, small animals, and um, I mean, Freddy's fish. Right? He he's like fish all day. And now you know some information of the American crocodile, and the majority of the crocodiles in this area are in Turkey Point, 
which is a nuclear nuclear facility that we have here, which basically gives us all our power. Um, they have a refuge in there in their cooling canals, and they have a bunch of them in there, but they don't have them locked in here in there. So they go back and forth, um, and they make it desirable for the for the females to mate, and then they control that whole aspect of it, right? I would love to do a video with those, those that team. Oh boy, push off, push off, push off, push off. Um, yeah, that would be a great video to, to do over there. And there is somebody that did a fantastic video on YouTube. Um, welcome back, guys. They did a fantastic video. Um, and it's on YouTube. Um, just type, type in Turkey Point American Crocodiles. And they went on an airboat. It was cool. It was, a, it was a really cool video. I would have done it differently because I got a different style. I, like, I would have jumped in the water. Said, hey, <laughs> wait for it. No, no. This is why I was I have never been invited. No, no, I wouldn't do it like that. But I would definitely like I definitely get a little more on land, right? And and I would love to see like how they they like the the eggs and the hatchlings and when did it happen and maybe I can get a little, you know, you know, porn hub session there with the male and a female doing some of some some of their dirty work so we can film that for YouTube, get them monetized. You know, all, all the all the cool stuff. You know? Um, which is nature, right? Let's see what happens here. All this conversation started because of what? Uh, was it was it yeah, it was fishing with Pedro the Pescatarian? Was that was that? Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it was. Yes, but the American crocodile, guys, is very different from the Nile or all these uh, Australian crocodiles that are super aggressive. And, like, I, oh man, bro, you take me to the to one of those rivers when they're actually those zebras are are crossing. I'll be the first guy zooming on the baby zebra, bro. I'm sorry, call me a monster. I'll be like, where's the baby zebra? I'll give the, the baby zebra a name. I'll let you guys get emotionally invested in the baby zebra. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it the cutest name ever, and then some monster croc that's 20 feet long just gets her and Rawr! it's terrible. All right, well, now that you know that I'm a monster, I'm going to go ahead and finish, <laughs> finish filming this guy crashing, and then maybe, just maybe, I might go to the flag. Wait for it. Nah, guys, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that to the poor zebra, bro. Look it up on YouTube, guys. Trust me. And if you see how fast those crocodiles are, you'll question going to the fillet table ever again in your life. You'll never go to the fillet table again. Oh boy, I'm about to get shot killed, and we got a we got a side dock here. Side dock? Yeah, we got a side dock. They're pulling. They're pulling. This, this guy, this guy was a gentleman. Look, actually, hey, is that a 29? That's a 20, ocean 29 Ocean Runner. Yeah. How do you like that boat? I like it a lot, bro. Yeah, you've had it a long time? Uh, I just took it out, bro. This is, my, this is the third time he's throwing out this boat. <laughs> Have you been in it with rough, rough stuff yet? No, I haven't, not yet. I was just talking about that. I was on, a friend of mine has that boat. He's a fishing, he's a charter captain. And we were on some nasty stuff the other day. Bro, I'm here. It was nasty. Go. Yeah, that's the boat, guys. That's exactly the same boat. It's a 29. Obviously, this is this layout's a little bit different, right? The way that Pedro has it set up is different, but this is the boat. Um We, we ran from some stuff, like uh, obviously the nasty, nasty stuff, guys. And the nasty stuff, based on the wind and, and the direction we were going, we did get wet. I ain't, um, I ain't even gonna bullshit you guys. We got, we got, we got pretty wet. But um, for a 29 foot boat, dude, that thing, I was surprised. And it's solid. Solid, solid boats. Serpiente. Espérate, ¿qué? ¿Cómo que serpiente? ¿Qué es eso, caballero? ¿Qué es serpiente? Oh, my God. Somebody said serpiente. That's a, that's a snake, guys. 
Oye, ¿dónde está la serpiente? Oh my goodness, guys. There's a snake in the water. Is that a snake? Oh my God. I'm leaving town. That's a snake in the water. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Oh my goodness. That is my worst nightmare, guys. Oh my goodness. Please tell me that thing is not alive. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's coming to me, bro. Hell no. Hell no. This, this video just... Guys, we're about to leave. No effing way i will never i will never oh my god i would oh my god oh oh my god hell no don't tell me this guys please don't tell me this don't, don't tell me this is real bro oh my goodness please don't tell me guys this is real there's a snake in the water bro oh my goodness guys what the hell is this bro hold on a second where is he can you guys see that? Oh my goodness, she said serpiente and I thought she was playing around, bro. There's a snake in the water, bro. Hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta work and still survive here, guys. Oh my goodness. Hey, is that a snake right there? Es una serpiente. Es una culebra. Ahí es una culebra ahí en el agua. Mira ahí al lado tuyo, al lado. En el agua. No era una culebra ahí. No. Yeah, these guys didn't see nothing. They, they think I'm trying to mess with them. Yeah, bro. Why, why is... uh? I don't know, bro. And it's moving back and forth. Oh, my goodness. Hell no. Hell no. Bro. Guys. <laughs> I don't even know if I could work, bro. Damn it. That, guys, listen. One thing is to have a snake on land. But I'm, I'm knee deep right now in the water, bro. This is not cool. Look, and this guy's shot killing, bro. Shot killing. There's a shit show going on on the other side of this. Nasty, but this guy has completely, completely killed the shot. Mind you, I'm too, I don't even know where the snake is now. Look, look at the look at the look at the chitter in the back. Okay, so serpiente means snake, serpent, serpiente, or culebra is also a term that people in Spanish will use. goodness bro you add and look how it's look how it's shaking hold on do you guys see that let me see is, is, is it zooming in bro and it's right in the center of the current like it's working out so so if you see the back of it do you guys see that i can't i i don't see it on my I can't see it so good. I don't know, after the fact. You think he's just looking at me? That's eerie, bro. He's probably waiting for me. Oh, look, look, you got, you got the... Why isn't something eat it, bro? Can something eat that thing already, bro? Please. Look at this. Oh yeah, it's a snake. 100% is a snake, bro. 100% is a snake, bro. Look at him, bro. Ew, that is disgusting, bro. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> we ain't adding a snake to this channel, guys. Um, <laughs> the serpent swimmer? Oh my goodness, bro. I mean, it's not terribly big, but that's... Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God, look who's here! Look who's here! Look who's here! My baby! My baby! Go get him! Go get him! Dude, she's here! Hey! Oye! Es una culebra! Mira a ver ahí adelante! Es una culebra ahí adelante! Mira a ver si es una culebra! Es una culebra!
Me voy para el carajo, esto es una mierda. ¿Tú, ¿Seguro que es una culebra? Oh my god, bro. It's... Bro, ¿qué es esto? ¿Qué, esto es? ¿Qué está pasando aquí en este mundo, bro? Oh my. Y va para mí, he says, this is going to you. Guys, this, this, is, this is already, this is a problem, bro. This is a problem. No, Fred is not my worry right now, kid. No, Fred. Fred is not my worry. All right. My baby Cuda is here. She just showed up. She wasn't here, but I looked down to see if that snake had a friend. Guys, I'm telling you right now. I am telling you right now. I do not play around. Sigue tirando en el agua, bro. Sigue. Te. Come swim at Black Point. Go ahead. It's the, now you got something else to worry about. Oh my goodness, que esto, caballero. What is this, bro? What is this, bro? A killer snake here at the boat ramp, bro. Que esto, Dios mío. You cannot make this up. Hey, that, comment below, guys. That 15 foot python, what is it gonna do to me? Oh my goodness. Look at this, forget about this guy. Oh my goodness, bro. Hell no. No, 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 bro. This is not, this is, this is the worst day of my life, guys. Hey, guys, if you see that I never do the chicho again, this is, this is the reason. I'll tell you right now, guys, I, I don't even have to lie. I don't even have to lie, bro. The boat ramp. Oh my goodness. Hey, did you see that? Look at him. Oye, hay una serpiente aquí, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, and it's going to where I work. Guys, I'm out of here. Alfred Montaner, never coming. I am never doing a video here ever again in my life. I hope you guys had a great time at the chit show. Get your luxury rib tenders.com merchandise. And now every time I hear something crazy, oh hell no, nah, bro. Hell no, nah, bro. Guys, I, I'm telling you, I'm leaving. I am, le I am out of here.